Hello, I'm Tina Sell, Director of Education at the Susquehanna Art Museum in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Thank you for taking this virtual visit to the Modernists, Witnesses of the 20th Century. Modernism describes an international art movement that began at the end of the 19th century and continues on to the middle of the 20th century. It spans two world wars, cultural oppression, and also social exclusion. Modern artists and their art can be diverse, reactionary, and innovative. The result is a shared feeling of being confined by traditional modes of expression. On this virtual visit, we'll be looking at two artists. One is the American Albert Bloch. The other is German Werner Drews. When we're looking at a German expressionist painting, you can start to identify things that may be in common with other German expressionists. German expressionism, they can often be upsetting, emotional. They can describe things that were happening during this period of time that you wouldn't normally expect to see in a painting, certainly not an Impressionist one. Albert Bloch is actually an American who moved over to Germany and learned how to change his painting style with other German artists who were trying this new German Expressionist technique and some Russian immigrants there too, including Vasily Kandinsky. By working with these groups of people, they were developing a language where some of the colors took on more of a spiritual meaning. And you'll see some influences from Impressionist and Post-Impressionist people who were beginning to kind of break the rules in their own right. You'll see in the background, in the mountainous looks, you might recognize something more like Cezanne in his landscapes. And in the front, this character here, who seems quite distressed, you might recognize a painting that we all know by Edward Munch called The Scream. He has that same elongated face, and that's to sort of draw your attention to the emotional feeling that he's having. Albert Bloch's piece, there's still a narrative, there's still a story that you can kind of pick up. Bloch ends up leaving Germany and leaving a lot of his work there. It then becomes destroyed with many other pieces in the war. And he ends up coming to America and taking a position teaching at the University of Kansas. His existence sort of became known as being part of this Germanic group called the Blue Rider. He's then recognized for being this very influential artist of the Expressionist movement. When we look at Werner, we'll note that he was actually a student of Vasily Kandinsky and other German Expressionists who were able to go back to Germany after the war. This is Composition 67 in blue, and he finished this in 1934. The reason why I wanted us to look at Werner Drew's piece after Albert Bloch was because Werner is actually a student of some of the people that Bloch was working with while he was in Germany. Werner is in Germany. He is studying at the Bauhaus School, which was a group of people who wanted to combine craftsmanship and art at the same time. And what he learns is many of the things that the German Expressionists were doing before. So you'll see, in comparison to the Albert Block, you'll see same shifts of planes of color. And you'll even see some gradation in areas here. But in this piece, Drew also uses line work as well. You'll also notice that there's no reference to any subject matter whatsoever in this piece. Werner actually leaves Germany and travel throughout the world, picking up different kinds of influences by the artwork in the countries that he's visiting. He ends up in America, actually, and becomes one of the people who brings that Bauhaus sensitivity and some of those German Expressionism roots into America. And that informs the American abstract movement. 
Thank you for taking this virtual visit to the Susquehanna Art Museum and the Modernist Witnesses of the 20th Century. For more information on any upcoming programs at the museum or for exhibitions currently on view, please visit our website, www.susquehannaartmuseum.org.